What supports concrete better, polyurethane or mud jacking? Our smart lift system utilizing polyurethane will always support your concrete much better than mud jacking. And it's really easy to understand why that is. And I'm going to explain it to you. It really has to do with fluid dynamics, specifically viscosity. Viscosity is a measurement of how thick a fluid is or how much it resists flow. The higher the viscosity, the thicker it is, the more it resists flow. A low viscosity material is highly flowable. So mud jacking would be similar to like a blizzard from Dairy Queen, really thick, doesn't flow very well. Polyurethane when injected would be similar to say something like olive oil, highly flowable, which all of this is easy to understand why now that mud jacking requires such a large injection nozzle. They have to drill big holes in your concrete just to get that thick material to the beneath the side of your concrete. Our polyurethane being so thin or low viscosity when injected is why we're able to drill very small holes. It's highly flowable. So the mud jacking, when they drill the big hole, they use the big nozzle to pump that thick material. It goes beneath your concrete into a pile. We call this peering. The thick material is able to push the concrete up, but it leaves voids on either side of it. This leaves your concrete not properly supported. So over time, moisture affects mud jacking material, can soften it, it weakens, slumps back down, your concrete drops again. However, with the lack of support or the presence of these large voids, the concrete ends up stressed and additional cracks can form so bad that you may actually have to have your concrete replaced at this point. Our polyurethane being completely different, our highly flowable material spreads out easily beneath the slab, raising it and supporting it, filling voids, ending up with a long-term repair for your concrete. But you know, we understand that as you're looking into concrete raising services, you're talking to different people and you're gonna be getting marketed to. Contractors are always gonna say their way is better. And you know, if you line up six, eight, 10 mud jacking companies, you're probably gonna get six, eight, or 10 different stories and explanations as to why each one is better than the other guy. So it can get really kind of crazy and confusing. So we like to bring in third parties when we can, unbiased resources, and that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna refer to the Illinois Tollway. You know, the Illinois Tollway and surrounding DOTs have decades of experience dealing with sinking roadways. So they understand what works and what doesn't. So I'm gonna to refer to a document that you can look up online and verify for yourself. And it, the document I'm looking at is the Illinois Tollway Guidelines for Pavement Assets. And I'm par paraphrasing here, but within this document, it clearly says, slab stabilization is achieved by injecting a highly flowable material underneath the slab. Polyurethane, expanding up to six times its liquid volume, forces its way into any sized void. The document goes on to clarify that water-resistant polyurethane is the primary material used today by tollway and highway departments. So there you go, the proof is right there. You know, it's an unbiased resource that we can all rely on. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, if you've been on I-294, you have experienced the power and longevity of polyurethane. There's a 42 mile stretch that had sections that dropped up to five inches. That repair work was all done with polyurethane. Mud jacking technology wasn't even allowed to bid that work. So we hope you find that useful and see that it's easy to understand why polyurethane is always going to be the better choice. Thank <laughs> you.